Hi, this is a project demonstration video for the project titled IoT based home automation system for participation in Freescale Design Challenge 2014. The main objective of this project was to design a general purpose web based data acquisition and control unit. The heart of the entire setup is a Freedom KL 25G development board from Freescale Semiconductors. The Kinetic Cell Series MCU is used to sample uh, data from a number of connected sensors, for example, light, humidity, temperature, current, gas sensors, etc. The sample data is then transferred wirelessly by RF module to a Windows based system running the server code. The server then uploads the incoming data to a website making the system accessible from anywhere with an active internet connection. Also the web user interface enables the user to control various connected control units with multiple control modes by sending appropriate control instructions to the MCU. The, these control modes can be on off, PWM etc. The onboard 16-bit ADC, 3-axis accelerometer and a serial UART peripheral along with the associated ICs as described in the upcoming sections of this representation forms the hardware data acquisition system. The server side of the web user interface were implemented using Node.js framework. The system as can be seen in the figure consists of three main sections, wireless sensor node, hardware, server software and the client user interface. The web wireless sensor node includes the Kinetics L-series MCU I described before and a RF module consisting of three CC2500 multi-channel RF transceiver. The sensor node is configured so as to acquire data from a number of input channels as well as to control a number of output channels independently. The entire system is based upon the client server architecture depicted in the figure on the screen. The client makes a request to the server. The server then listens to this request and passes on this information to the router. The router routes the request to the appropriate request handler. The associated request handling routine is then executed and a response is sent back to the client via the server. As can be seen in the diagram, the MCU code is divided into various subroutines handling the various peripheral operations. The system is configured so as to work with a number of sensors and since the system is easily scalable, the number of inputs and outputs can, of the system can be increased if required. The detailed data from the MCU can be transmitted to the server using a RF module or by directly connecting the system to the server system. Server system. Okay, now regarding the implementation, the components that I have used for this project are given on the screen. A kinetic cell series MCU acts as the central controller for the hardware setup. URN2803 Darlington transistor array was used for driving the output peripherals. A 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD was used to display the incoming ADC data to the user. Uh, ALM7805 5 volt regulator and LP2950 3.3 volt regulator was also used for supplying the power to the uh, sensor and the um, microcontroller circuitry. Sensors that were used for, uh, that will be used for this product demonstration are ALDA, HI300 Horrified sensor. ALM35 temperature sensor and a M MQ2 smoke sensor. A DC lamp and a BLDC motor will also be used for the project demonstration. The software that were used for this project are also given. Uh, a embed, the embed online compiler were used. Code Warrior uh, was from Freescale Semiconductors were used. And Cats of Eagle were used for uh, designing the schematic and PCV for the project. Okay, the hardware uh, schematic is given on the screen. Uh, as you can see the schematic is divided into multiple sections. Uh, the upper left section includes the circuitry for voltage regulator sections including a 5 volt and a 3.3 volt regulator as mentioned before. The highlighted right section includes the sensor circuitry. This section is connected to the analog inputs of the freedom board. The bottom left sec section consists of the circuitry for the 16 cos 2 LCD interface and the URN2803 driver section. The web user interface designed for this project is as shown on the screen. The Node.js framework was used for implementing the server side of the web UI. The server and it developed entirely using JavaScript and Node.js platform while the client is developed using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery, the standard web programming languages. Now features of the web user interface. The user can obtain and display the data incoming from the MCU or also the data is plotted real time. The user can also send instructions to the MCU using the UA control panels as well as a command line that we will be discussing in, in a while. And we can also source our lo local host to local tunnel or any such related web service and access the website and thus the hardware setup from anywhere via internet using the generated subdomain. Now the program flow is also shown. 
the code for the server side is divided into four parts. The index.js file contains the code for starting the server and the handles for various request handlers and are also defined in it. The server.js file implements the server functionality using web sockets and also contains the code for performing the serial communication with the project hardware via an active UART connection. The route.js contains the code for routing the request to appropriate request handler depending upon the client's request and request load request handler.js file as the name suggests contains the code for all the user defined request handlers the request handlers returns a response to the client via the server this is a prototype hardware setup i plan on making pcbs out of the design that i have already shown but for this particular demonstration i will be using this prototype board only so here is our kinetic cell series mcu inside the freedom board on the right hand side we have some sensors a mq2 gas sensor is there there is an LDR, a HI300 hall sensor and also LM35 temperature sensor. We have also have some connectors for allowing user to uh, attach external sensors to the system if required. We have a ULN2803 dynamic transition array driving these output peripherals. Two of the peripherals are connected. Uh, there is a BLDC fan and a small DC motor. On the left hand side of this board, we have another ULN2803 dynamic transistor array. This is done so as to allow the user to connect peripherals to the system that require different voltage levels. Also, we have our DC lamp. We also have our LCD here. As you can see, the LCD is currently displaying the ADC data from HI300 hall sensor, which is currently off. We can also change the, the LCD display by using this button, as you can see. So currently, so now I have plotting the data from ADC channel 5 which is currently open. Now ADC channel 6 which is also open. Now this is the LDR data which is currently showing the light density of the LDR in percentage form. So now we will move to the product demonstration. So once we have all the required files in the system, all you need to do is run this simple command in node index.js to set up the server. So my server is now listening on localhost port 8080. I will open this link. And as you can see, this is our client user interface. We have a number of panels here. And also we have a command line here with all the command listed uh, here. Uh, I will first start the UART reception by writing the similar command that is rx on. As you can see, I have now started receiving the data from the MCU. And also this data is reflected in these data gauges. Also, we have a uh, data to MCU panel here from which I can switch these ch uh, channels on and off. So I can switch the output 0 which is connected to the red LED. Now output 1 that is green LED. Output 2 blue LED. Output 3 which is our lamp. And output 5 which is our DC fan. So uh, now I will, so we can uh, use this uh, data to MCU panel to turn these units on and off also we can use uh, the command and function uh, predefined function which are like switch say P0 on so this will switch the red LED on we can turn it off as well not only this we can control the PWM as duty cycle as well so say uh, PW, I will define a PWM P0 which is red LED and set it to 10% so this is our 10% now 50% now 100% so likewise I will uh, we can also assign these PWM uh, outputs to these sliders over here so I will assign say a slider S0 to P3 P3 is our uh, DC lamp so I have assigned it and now say by just by changing the slider value I can change this duty cycle of the lamp so I will now say I on and off so uh, basically we can configure any output pin uh, in this way uh, now uh, I will introduce uh, now before introducing to the, you to the alert concept I will first plot some of the data on these plots over here so say graph 1 I will plot channel 0 channel 0 is connected to the LDR so LDR data is being plotted on graph 1 and whole sensor data is plotted on graph 2 uh, sorry I signed it wrong so I say graph 1 channel 0 and say I will assign my graph 2 to channel 5 
so now let us move to the alert thing so I will define an alert on one input pin say channel 0 channel 0 is connected to our LDR and I will assign an output say P3 now P3 is my uh, DC lamp so as I will also define a minimum and maximum value say minimum of 1.1 and maximum of 3.3 uh, and I will add an alert mode that is auto and say S mode on so by defining just these few parameters what I will do uh, I will uh, check on channel 0 that uh, which is connected to our LDR uh, and the limit is uh, minimum of 1.1 and a maximum of 3.3 so if uh, the value is outside these limits so a on signal will be generated on the uh, defined output mode so let us just enter it so my limit is now in range so I will just uh, add some light on this sensor and as you can see the lamp is on and as soon as I remove it off on as soon as it is removed off so basically I have just defined a simple control by uh, adding a, uh, writing a simple command we can uh, like in this way control any number of outputs uh, based upon the data received from any number of inputs and control mode with this just four or five options so let us just so let us try one more alert in instruction now so this time I will define an alert on input channel CH1 which is our uh, HR300 hall sensor and output will be P5 and rest all will be same so let us I will now bring this magnet closer to this hall sensor and we will see what happens so it is off it is on now on and the, as you can see the fan is off and as soon as we switch this back to off this is off this is on also let us add one more alert so this time I will use CH1 only same setting everything will be same except the fact that output will be P3 so I have already added an alert on P5 now I have added one on one controlling the output of P3 as well so let's see what will happen so both are on as you can see and now both are off I am using this service called local tunnel basically I have generated this subdomain that you can see on the screen and using this subdomain I can access my system from anywhere so I have entered this subdomain into my iPad now let us control some of the output peripherals so I will first switch LED 0 basically the port 0 which is connected to the red LED on so as you can see red LED has turned on I will now turn it off Now you can see the red LED has turned off. Now let us switch the green LED is on and off. Also, let us switch this lamp on. It is on. And off. So basically now I can control my peripherals from anywhere using an active internet connection also I am receiving the data here I can plot I can also use the command line so the system has now the internet of things page data acquisition and control unit was successfully implemented on a kinetic cell cities MCU working as a data logger the system as we have seen was tested using four sensors a HA 300 hall effect sensor a LDR AMQ2 gas sensor and an LM35 temperature sensor. Also, we have used two ULN2803 diamond transistor arrays to drive the output peripherals. The real time graphs of some of the aforementioned sensors are shown below. So, here is a list of references that we have used for this project.